Meet Hornbeam Joyriders Club in Waltham Forest. It's been going for two years and it aims to encourage women and other underrepresented groups to take up cycling. Its training courses have been a huge success. Atia Khan is a GP. She's been with the group since September. For me, this was brilliant because it was it was it's just a, a different group of women, you know, and just you know, Muslim women, people from different backgrounds, so all inclusive. So yeah, it's, it is open to everyone. The mayor today gave funding to 30 more groups like this to encourage Londoners from all backgrounds to cycle. And safe infrastructure is also important. After finding the group, it's like I've socialised with other women, network networking, checking out the cafes. It's just free time for myself and I've left the car at home. Yes, I've converted. <laughs> I love cycling. I, uh, it's, it's, as I said before, that's, it's, it's a give freedom for me to go anywhere instead of walking. The latest TfL figures show that in one year, just 15% of people from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds commuted once by bike. That compares to 40% of people from white backgrounds, but it is changing. People, if they don't know anyone else like themselves cycling, um, then they're less likely to cycle because they just don't think it's for them. And obviously access to a bike is a big barrier as well. A lot of people don't have a bike or they don't have anywhere to store a bike. So just the fact that we can um, invite people on lead bike rides and offer them a bike, it's really easy for them to take up. What you need to do is create community champions from different groups. And so the Hornbeam Joy Riders here um, in Leighton have been working with women from Muslim backgrounds, different ethnic minority communities. Once you see other people like yourself doing it, once you see more women cycling, I think uh, there is a, uh, a desire then to think, well, actually, I can do this myself. The mayor has big targets to get more people cycling. One battle would be convincing those who don't think cycling is for them. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.